gonna dance. Inspiration for Adventures, part one. See you on the other side. Mage Gate Games, bringing more fun and variety to your 5e games. I'm Baba Tucker. And I'm Jackson Dean Chase. And together, we're Mage Gate Games. Where, if you like role-playing games and rolling dice, you're in the right place. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Today, we're talking about inspiration for adventures. So, Jackson, I, for, for me, I always try to, uh, you know, when I sit down and go like, oh, okay, I, I need to make something for, for people. Sometimes I blink out. I don't know. I'm like, okay. Uh, but I know we have a bunch of different things that we do that gets us right back in, into creating those adventures super easily and quickly. What are some of the ways that you do that? Well, one of my favorite ways to do it is to look through my collection of old dungeon magazines and various little, uh, you know, the modules of the classic modules of yesteryear. Um, and uh, just uh, look through them and look at the maps, actually. It's not so much the actual adventure, because I've already run that in the past, you know, and a lot of players will be familiar with it. Uh, but to look at the actual maps, and uh, let me... Uh... So here's an example. This is, uh, this is uh, what is this? The Thief's Gold. Uh, this is for third edition, Legends and Lairs uh, series, Instant Adventures. And it's about a counterfeiting ring, a uh, Thieves' Guild counterfeiting ring, right? And so that's that's cool. It's a cool adventure. But like, look what we got here in the middle. Let me see if I can line this up. We got a map of the sewer system, complete with manholes, secret doors, drain pipes, all this stuff. You could use this endlessly. Anytime you ever need a sewer system, boom, there you go. You know, yeah. and oh, like you just flip it, right? Right. And now yeah. it's a completely different <laughs> map. Oh, sideways. It's a different map. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I mean, you can always move the secret door or whatever, you know, add some traps or whatever. So you, you can run it once as is perfect. And then next time they go in the sewers, doo -doo, it's back. But they don't yeah. know it because you don't let them know that you're using the same map over and over again. <laughs> and that is a lot of fun. Uh, one of the things, and I'll just keep using this example here, um, is looking at this map, right? I start to like think what could be in the sewer system, you know, what could, is it slime monsters? Is it were rats? You know, is there some weird cult that's been driven underground or, you know, it could be anything or, or maybe it's a secret base, you know, for the, for the bad guys. Right. right. And, and so you just think about like, Oh, what would be really cool to have happen here? And you can also think about like what kind of uh, terrain, right. Um, you could have, uh, you know, obviously poison gas, you know, methane, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, you could have, uh, you know, you could have acid, you could have slime. This would be like great for running um, like a, a fantasy equivalent of aliens, you know, get some yeah. xenomorphs down in there, right? And you're, uh, you're well, not space marines, but you're, uh, you know, <laughs> you're adventurers. And uh, yeah, that could be a lot of fun. So I just look through that and I go, wow, that's great. Um, you know, now, you know, if I'm running a more uh, top side and less, uh, you know, underground adventure, you know, I could grab something like uh, whoop, this guy, Covenant Hill, uh, cool third edition adventure. Uh, and uh, it's got a beautiful map of a garrison there, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're out in the, uh, we're out in the woods or, you know, on the frontier, and there's a, a garrison there. Is it a friendly garrison that the players are stationed at, and then they get attacked? You know, kind of like uh, the old John Carpenter movie, Assault on Precinct 13. Um, they could be attacked, surrounded, uh, or maybe, uh, or they could use this as their base to go out and, uh, you know, explore the area, defend it against the, uh, you know, whatever's out there. Uh, or uh, maybe they've got to go, uh, you know, assault this place, or maybe there's a uh, NPC, right? Some mm. bad guy who's part of the bad guy's team or whatever, and that he's moving around from fortress to fortress, and they know he's going to be at this this particular garrison at this particular time, and so, boom, let's go assault it, you know, and we're going to kidnap this guy, and it's a stealth mission versus, you know, like, kill everybody mission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, 
that's really uh, that's that's really what I like to do is is just I have so many maps. I would I used to just buy like every issue of Dungeon Magazine, right? And I and I would like look through because all I need is like one cool map that like you know I just throw the adventure away and just right. let my brain like go wild and then I'll like go and I'll get out the monster manual and all my other monster books and I'll like look through and I was like oh yeah this would fit so great here, you know? Or what if you know what if instead of um, you know, a garrison, you know, in the, uh, you know, on a hill or whatever in the forest, you know, it's on a mountaintop, you know, or what if it's in a swamp, you know, and now suddenly you can change up the terrain and you change and then you immediately think, oh, well, now it's this type of villain is in here, you know, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really what I, what I like to do. Probably one of the most um, uh, used ones, you know, is the old classic uh, keep on the borderlands. Uh, <laughs> from first edition and uh you know that is uh you know the caves of chaos right you got a yeah. huge cave complex there and it's on multiple levels you can see the different uh uh you know uh ridges and everything and where the trees are and you know some of it's rough and uh unworked stone and some of it's worked stone and let me try and get it on the screen there <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful map, and you could use this endlessly for all kinds of, uh, you know, barbarian tribes, humanoid tribes, you know, uh, uh, bad yeah. guys, uh, you know, yeah, or just, you know, an old uh, abandoned uh, city, you know, what happened to the civilization that was there, and maybe yeah. they're overrun by monsters, and oh, look, monsters, you know, what did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, like, I mean, just going through that right now like you showing me like the sewer system there i was like oh it could be also like a, a under city and like and so i like my my brain's all like oh i'm i want to create this adventure <laughs> so it's like yeah it's a, it's an awesome way to get inspired um i what i what i i think as you know uh gms and uh, i mean other people who are playing you know we're playing role playing games we we get maps we have whole, like a huge bundle of maps and it's a wonderful resource there's free maps out there that can be used yeah. um and and so yeah if you're you know have a hard time with you know with cash and you're thinking like oh wow uh, i don't have i can't get maps you can get maps there's a bunch out there and um yeah don't just look at them and go it, it only looks like this no 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 go in and reflavor it in in the you know environment that you want or with the terrain that you want um, you know, that's, uh, yeah, I, I would, you know, I, I look at what you were saying, you know, with the acid and things like that, just brings us back to the books that we were making, you know, the, all of our, um, extreme encounters, extreme encounters, Weather and terrain. Yeah. and, uh, yeah, just being able to reflavor maps over and over, like mm -hmm. I, you know, it's just saying, yeah, turn it to the side, <laughs> maybe move a room, but like yeah. the, what I, what I like about uh if you can find maps and and maybe that's like another thing is look through the maps that you feel are really dynamic uh that might have choke points that might have different ways that different factions can move through them um and, and then you start to th think of like okay how do how what is the um what is the reason that made this point really uh important to be in you know like why this this part of the map was or uh, this this section was is being used, uh, yeah. So it that helps you with also like in, adventure hooks or you know where factions are being placed and how they they you know uh, affect each other. So yeah, no, that those uh, I really like uh, that sewer map there. I yeah, it's one of my jealous. favorites. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've kept it all these years because it's just. <laughs> perfect yeah you know every time a sewer comes up yeah, there it is um yeah. one of the things you can do if players do call you on like the same same you know of, of of the maps if they even figure it out uh you could always say yeah this does seem awfully familiar you know and maybe it's like uh the same architect designed all these different dungeons right and maybe there's some kind of uh you know adventure hook there yeah. You know, maybe this is the guy who's designing all the bad guys' bases, so they have a certain uniformity. And maybe, you know, you can use that, you can track that guy down and follow him to where they're building their next base, right? right. Kind of like a um, uh, Return of the Jedi type plot, right? So that's like the Death Star is unfinished, 
you know, right. and they're building it. And then you come in and, you know, blow it up. Right. Or always make it like it's the ancient ruins of this type of civilization, right? All these places are the ancient, yeah. <laughs> this ancient place, right? So, I mean, that's what I thought about when the, the sewers, I was like, oh, yeah, I could just reuse that every time. It's the same, you know, <laughs> the same uh, ancient uh, civilization made this thing. So, uh, yeah, of course it looks the same. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Um, so here's like another one. This is, uh, this is another favorite, uh, Raven Mine, also third edition. Um, and you open it up and you got a beautiful wizard's mansion with a tower oh. and everything. So anytime you need a fancy noble mansion, you know, boom, you got it. Right. And, and there were just like, oh, there were tons of these things back in, uh, third edition. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> all right yeah yeah all right well yeah uh cool well thank you so much for uh sharing that idea stick around for uh part two <laughs> find out what that's about all right we'll see you in the next video stay inspired in the spot dun, dun, dun. if you'd like to see more things like this go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you feel like supporting us and helping us bring more things to you and our community through the Mage Gate, go ahead and check out our links in the description below and join our Patreon. If you haven't picked up your free Heirloom Magic Item PDF, go ahead and check out our website where you can get that for free. Uh, thank you so much again and see you in another video. I'm Baba Tucker. And I'm... Fuck, I forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs>